Uh, hello guys, uh, Shit King here. Uh, I just saw that a couple of hours ago, uh, my channel uh, passed 1,000 subscribers, which I think is really cool. So to celebrate, I wanted to share one of my uh, favorite recipes uh, with you guys. Uh, this is something I make for all my friends and family, and I think you're really going to like it. So, uh, so you know, sometimes uh, when you wake up in the morning uh, or at night, and you need energy, uh, and you want a monster, right? But like, you know, sometimes you're hungry and you want something filling. So this is this helps uh, with that. Um, it gives you energy. Uh, I drink a monster. I don't like to drink coffee because I know it's bad for me. So I don't like to drink coffee. But uh, yeah, I call these monster rolls. Okay, guys. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find something that you want to cook in. Um, let's see what I have here. Uh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, this this will work. This will work. I got a little uh, pan here that I use to cook normal pizza rolls, so it's good. Uh, so next, what we want to do is we want to get some uh, pizza rolls. I have some in the cupboard up here that I can use. Uh, these are just regular Tortino's pizza rolls. Uh, if you like the combo ones better, you can use any kind you want. Um, so what you want to do with those is get a nice, good, healthy layer on the bottom uh, make sure it's nice and even so that you know the pizza rolls don't burn so I'm just gonna do that mmm smell really good oh uh, and uh, by the way you want to turn your stove up to high uh, now you want to get some red hot some or any kind of hot sauce will do really just just kinda drizzle it on there like this mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn the stove down a little bit because it's kind of loud and uh, I don't want to wake my roommates up. Okay, so now for the most important ingredient, the monster. Now, uh, you gotta use Monster White, Monster Zero Ultra White. Uh, nothing else will work. I've tried this with other stuff and uh, weird things happen when you use other kinds of monsters. So just don't even try it, okay? It's not worth the risk. Um, I like to put a little bit of extra in there so I have something to sip on on my way to work, but you know, you can just play it by ear if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more red hot in there because it's looking kind of clear. Uh, you basically want the color and consistency to be similar to that of human blood. Give it a little bit of a stir. Turn this baby back up to high and we're golden. Put a little bit more in there. Uh, you want to make sure you use all your monster because this stuff ain't cheap. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'll give a little bit of a stir. Uh, poke some holes in the pizza rolls if you can because that helps get the natural juices flowing uh, faster and it'll really increase the flavor. I'm putting a few more in here because I think it's looking a little bit too soupy for me uh, and I like that nice crunch, you know. So, yeah, uh, what I'm doing now is we're going to find something to cover this up with. This will work. Nice flat surface. You want to keep that steam in there. It's like steaming vegetables, kind of. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we'll check in in about 20 minutes and see how this is uh, cooking. So, it's 901 right now. So, uh, see you in a jiffy. I found something really cool here. It's uh, some pizza crust that my roommate actually must have thrown out a few days ago. Uh, so what we can do is we can stir our soup up with that and that'll give it some nice uh, body and flavor that it wouldn't have had otherwise. But before we can do that, let's take our hot pad here and let's see how these rolls are cooking. And just set that down right there. That goes there. Mmm, sure looks good. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a little bit of a stir, get that crust nice and moist. And then we're gonna set that aside. We can use that as a garnish later on. So as you may have gathered, I'm a little bit of a health nut. Um, 
a neat trick I picked up over the years is that you can actually use pan, um, no stick cooking spray, uh, and, and if you spray it on your food, um, it'll prevent um, the cholesterol from sticking to your arteries, and you can basically eat whatever you want just by doing this. So, you know, I just sprayed a little bit in there, and uh, yeah, I think that's good. Mmm, smells great. Well, that's basically it. All that's left to do is plate it up and serve it, or you can just slip it back into the can of Monster if you want. That's what I usually do with them on the go. Alright, let's give it a little bit of a taste now that it's starting to cool off. Mmm. Looks good, got a nice texture. That, uh, that droop is really what you want. It means that the pizza roll has really absorbed the Monster and taken on the rejuvenative properties that um, the monster carries with it so that's good mm, oh it's a little hot but mm, really good hey guys this is shit king i really hope you enjoyed this cooking video uh, this is a recipe that my mom taught me um it's been on the family for oh probably three generations now and she used to make this for me when i was a kid all the time and it really brings back really fond memories for me um and i still make it all the time so so what you're seeing now is the pizza rolls um, after they've been cooling for about an hour. Um, sometimes if I'm making this for supper after I uh, they finish cooking, I'll just put them on the floor to cool for, you know, an hour or two, and I'll, then I'll eat them like this. Uh, like this, the texture kind of changes to more of a lasagna-like. Uh, the taste is pretty much the same, except it's, uh, it's a lot more potent because it's not as spread out, because the monster has more of a chance to soak into, uh, the molecules of uh, the pizza rolls and so it's more good and better that way um, but you know if you're in a hurry then by all means uh, just dump it in your monster bottle and go uh, it's good both ways and I enjoy it uh, both ways so bon appetit